you're tuned in to Sport on Primetime. Now, Cape Tonians got to see local Olympians and Paralympians up close on Monday when the city honored athletes who competed in Rio. Some of the big names who attended included 400 meters Olympic champion Wade Funikak and Paralympic gold medalist Hilton Langenhoven. A proposal has been made by the city of Cape Town to rename the Greenpoint Stadium the Wade van Niekerk Stadium. A day to celebrate athletes, able and disabled, who did South Africa proud at the recent games in Rio. At times it represented a political rally with politicians milking the media attention, but the fans came out in their droves to pay their respects to their heroes. We are all very proud to be here today to welcome our Olympians and our Paralympians to congratulate them for their achievements. We are very, very proud of them as South Africans. They are the best. Understandably, Van Nikek was the center of attraction and the athlete who broke Michael Johnson's 17-year-old world record had his work cut out to keep all his devoted fans happy. I just want to go out there and inspire each and every um, South African out there to go out there and, and, and achieve their dreams and go out there to, to, to live out their dreams. I'm representing them the same way they're representing myself and I'm going out there just to, 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 to live our country's flag out high. And the news that the man who was born in Cryfontaine, who now resides in Bloemfontein, was to have a stadium named after him. It's a, a massive honor. I mean, uh, like I said earlier as well, one of my very first international meetings that I ever had to watch was right here at Greenpoint Stadium. Um, and and it's, it played a huge role in my personal inspiration. And yeah, I have the opportunity to, to get the stadium named after me. I, I thank everyone. Well, for Nick Extol, the alarm night, it was a day for all athletes to soak up the atmosphere and adulation from the public. Yeah, no, it's an awesome feeling, you know, I met um, City of Cape Town and everybody involved have, have, have really taken time out to come and support us and all the fans as well, you know, it's, it's quite a, a, a nice feeling, you know, about four weeks after the games, but it's, 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 it's something which is sold and gratitude towards our achievements. Oh, yeah, it was awesome just to be, be celebrated today and um, standing on a bus, just having a good vibe, dancing, um, yeah, with, with the people you haven't seen in a while, yeah, just, just celebrating that was awesome. 60 Olympians and Paralympians were meant to be honoured, although much less were present. Politicians and administrators outnumbered the athletes. It was ever a day of celebration for the athletes that have kept the South African flag flying high. Craig Marie, SABC News, Cape Town.